All right, today got another awesome lesson for you guys, and we're doing a couple of basic math words, and a lot of times in English, and I don't know why this doesn't get taught usually in ESL when you're learning English as a foreign language or second language, but it's necessary because these are the terms that we use in spoken English. I'm not going to teach real math where it's, you know, the in-depth stuff that you're never going to use in spoken English, but these are words that we actually use. It's important to know what they are, uh, really important. And a lot of people, especially this word, even in their native language, they don't know what it is because in math class, they just didn't pay attention. And then, then they hear the word over and over again. They have a feeling they know what it is, but they actually don't because they didn't pay attention. So you guys are going to know more, I'm telling you, than some native speakers after this. So anyway, so mean and average mean the same thing. And obviously the word mean can mean a lot of things. But in this case, average and mean are average and mean. They mean the exact same thing. And that is if you take a group of numbers and you average them together, then it's sort of in the middle of all the numbers. So I'm going to tell you how to do it, then you're going to know from your own language. I don't have to explain it because you probably already know what this is. So let's say that I have these numbers. I have the number 3, I have the number 5, and I have the number 10. That's it. All right, I got 3, 5, and 10 for whatever reason. Let's say it's something like this is the number of points that some guy scored in a basketball game. So first game, he sucked, had three points. Second game, he still didn't do that great, had five. Third game is okay, had ten points, right? So not a really high-scoring basketball player. But let's just say those are the scores that the guy got, right, in a basketball game. And I could say, well, if you only played those three games, what's the average... And again, mean and average mean the same thing. So it's the mean or the average of these three numbers, or what's the average number of points the guy got. You just add them up, 3 plus 5 plus 10, and divide it by the number of numbers. So 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 plus 10 is 18. So 3 plus 5 plus 10 is 18, and there's three of them, there's three numbers, so you divide it, this means divide, this number here, so it's this symbol, that's divide, but it means the same thing here, divided by three, because there's three, so the way you take an average, you add the three numbers up, and then you divide it by the number of them, so there's one, two, three of them divided, so the guy on average gets six points. So that's the average or the mean of these three numbers. I'm sure you've seen this growing up, obviously. So that's how you use it. Mean and average, that's what this number is. Now median, this is the one people don't know. Anytime you can take a mean or an average of a set of numbers, you can also take the median. And the median is the middle number. So all you have to do in this case is line them up. So there's three numbers, and these are in order from lowest to highest. So the lowest one's here, then the middle one, then the highest one. The middle number is the median. So the, the median in this case is five. You don't add them up and divide it. You just line up the numbers from low to high and take the middle one. So that's what median is. And it gets a little bit, you know, tricky. Like if the next number was 20, then the way you do median is you take the average of the two numbers in the middle. So 5 plus 10 is 15 divided by 2, 7.5. So it's kind of in the middle of these two numbers, 7.5. That's the median of these four numbers, but the point is not really to, to get all mathematical. You probably know what this stuff is, but I want you to translate your knowledge in your own language into English. So the first one we did, mean average, you've done that with your teachers before, and median is the middle number. So if you're talking about median salary, that's a way we use it all the time. You could see that in the newspaper or whatever. It's just saying if there's like 500 workers and the CEO makes the most and the person sweeping the floor makes the least and you line up all the salaries, take the one in the middle, 
that's the median salary. Average salary is you add up all the salaries divided by 500 because there's 500 people and that's the, that's the number. And they can be the same, but they can also be a little bit different. So I'm sure you know the difference because of your own language stuff, but it's important, as I said, to know exactly what they mean in English so you can start using them when you need to use these numbers, kind of higher level stuff to express and understand. Anyway, I'll do very clear examples on the site, so check it out, learnenglish232.com.